it's time to see a vet? Maybe. First of all, depending on what the differing views are, there won't be an ounce of respect shown. Do not deserve peace. Sitting on a live stream as a literal blanket and expressing how vindictive you can be, that's a personal choice. I don't need to bring my cats to the vet right now, so I'm not going to. So there. Like, that's like saying, well, people are bugging you to do this. Why don't you just do it to shut them up? No, how about they just shut up and let me live my life? I am not going to take my cats to the vet just because people want me to. Come on up, Casey. Come on. Oh, jeez. Are you actually okay? So I'm just sort of keeping an eye. Uh, Sam is downstairs, I think. Anyway, sorry. I was uh, sort of keep trying to keep an eye on Casey just because uh, before she got in my lap, she was on uh, my footrest and uh, like sort of moving to get up onto my lap. And her head was shaking a lot. Shaking? Like, like, you know how old people do? You know, like, you know how, like, old people do? Where, like... I mean, I don't think I'll be taking them twice. Sorry. Let's just be real. Unless they're really sick. Sorry, BBJ. I didn't even take my grandma to the doctor twice a year when she was geriatric. So, I think I'm an empath. Yeah, she definitely got the shakes. She's definitely getting the shakes. That is concerning. I'll be the one to euthanize her. Euthanize. <laughs> I don't like that. Cat lives matter. Not that one. That one doesn't matter. <laughs> so, I guess if you want to hate and be a, be a loser, you can do it on Discord. You can go to Kiwi Farms. You can go to Charlie Gold. Yeah, that's definitely cause for concern. I think, uh... It's time to see a vet. Maybe. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, my name is Charlie. Please consider subbing before you exit this video. YouTube is making a lot of changes, and I'm now starting to notice it on the back end. So if you notice I'm cursing a bit less, it's because it's their platform, and if I want to be here, it's their rules. Now with that out of the way, let's get into this video. From watching Chantel over time, yes, BBJ is old also neglected, and will probably die soon. Just shut the f up, people! For f sake! The cat is fine! Jesus Christ, you people are just goddamn tedious! Like, Christ, just shut the f She's fine! The cat is fine! Fine, you idiot! Oh. Shut the f Hey, Rara. Just leave it. Just drop it. Just drop it. Drop the f thing. Just drop it, all right? Unfortunately, that moment right there will not age well. Remember when Chantel was trying to walk back and rewrite everything that she claimed Natter had done to BBJ? Certain things still stick out. He was like aggressive here. I think that's why he never kicked BBJ, but I think that's why BBJ is afraid because he's more, do you know, like he has anger problems. So that can also be applied to Pete's current temperament around a topic that he brought onto the platform over the last couple of days. Before we really dive in, I want to play a clip that I will continue playing throughout the course of this video, and possibly others. You drive me crazy. You make me look crazy in front of everybody. You make me look like a piece of 
in front of everybody. Chantal needs no help with that. She does a great job on her own. There's a few things I want to cover in this video. Let's first talk about Chantal now walking back her statement from a few days ago on Instagram. So Chantal's tone as of now is, I want to correct my stance on LGBT. While my religion says it is haram to be LGBT, I support every human being who is kind regardless of their sexuality. Frankly, personal choices are not my business and we are all humans at the end of the day and deserve to live life freely without prejudice. We can all have differing views on matters, but we must respect one another as fellow humans. First of all, depending on what the differing views are, there won't be an ounce of respect shown. Bigots do not deserve peace. Let's talk about personal choice. Living in filth is a personal choice. It is gross. I'm a gross person. <laughs> I, I, I am. I mean, <laughs> what do you want? Let me be gross. <laughs> Just don't come near me. Don't f me. Attempting to break and enter into someone's home that you just met, that's a personal choice. For that many hours, you don't check your phone once? You don't check your phone once? No, 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 no. I'm actually like really disgusted. I'm disgusted. Like. <gasps> Attempting to manipulate your audience due to your drug addiction is a personal choice. Um, I know like you guys are gonna think that I don't deserve a platform right now, but I'm just asking you please try not to silence me because I really need you guys right now. Like I do. Honestly, I lose beezers all the time and new beezers come all the time. So you know what? It's your loss if you're a beezer and you leave. <laughs> it's no skin off my f I have new beezers joining all the time. I don't give a f Honestly. I'll be as sweet as pie tomorrow. Oh, you know it. You know I'm going to manipulate the f*** out of you. And you're going to eat it up and you're going to watch me. <laughs> because... If I hadn't, didn't have you guys for support and to be able to come and, like, this is therapeutic for me. And I think for people who are YouTubers, it is. And that's why we do it. It's our outlet. Even if you don't think it's healthy. Um, and it's a means of support. Like, if I didn't have a way to support myself right now, and I had to be, like, homeless, I would be even more in drugs, <laughs> you know? Sitting on a live stream as a literal pig in a blanket and expressing how vindictive you can be, that's a personal choice. Never worry that you were helping set him up financially and that one day he will give you the boot and give everything you deserve to someone else. I think about that every day, actually. But. Trust. Your faith in religion is a personal choice. There is nothing about being queer that is a personal choice. Chantal is a bigot through and through. A big part of my channel is choosing to highlight a lot of that with her own words and actions. Nothing about her now deleted post was surprising. As I mentioned before, all she did was confirm what we already knew and she put a nice little Muslim bow on it. And let's be clear, Chantel does not speak for all Muslims or any religious group at that. She speaks for herself only, a bigot who's cosplaying as a Muslim wife who thought their whiteness would protect them the same way it did in Canada and Cuba and anywhere else she kicked up both. As disgusting as her post was, one of the biggest things it actually did was take away the argument for the people who still sit there and try to defend and excuse the behaviors she's been showing this whole time. The post wasn't surprising to me. What was more surprising is the reaction from some people, as if she hasn't shown over the years who she was. Yes, we're in 2023, but people like Chantel exist, and she's been existing freely and showing everyone, all her viewers, who she was this whole time. The post wasn't needed, but of course it confirms a lot of the criticism that's been levied her way for years. Chantel is a bigot and her personal choice is to remain one. So the other day, Pete started up a live stream and chose to bring attention to something that was going on with BBJ. Are you actually okay? 
So I'm just sort of keeping an eye. Uh, Sam is downstairs, I think. Anyway, so I was uh, sort of keep trying to keep an eye on Casey just because uh, before she got in my lap, she was on uh, my footrest and uh, like sort of moving to get up onto my lap. And hi, Peter. Can you have Casey? Honestly, theater, I would be happy to, I'd be happy to sell her, but she's not really mine to sell. <clears throat> I mean, I made, I got pretty good YouTube pay this uh, last month. Not 4K a month. Oh, well, actually, you know what? Probably. Pretty close. Classy? Buying wine from the Petro Canada? I buy us $70 bottles when we drank, you stupid asshole. Yeah. Yeah, when Chantel gets back, we'll definitely need to take her. One last take or two of it. Um, it's been a few months, probably about six months. So it's getting about time for a checkup anyway. But the fact that, yeah, her head was shaking. Yeah. Seems to be an off and on thing for her. She still gets around. She still generally gets around pretty okay. Yeah, it's... Uh, Got me thinking that she might not have that much longer. BBJ's health is not a new topic. And during this time, what was Chantel doing? Carrying on, posting all over her social media, as she does. She wasn't concerned in Canada, so of course she's not gonna be concerned in Kuwait. Her neglectful nature follows her wherever she goes. As a viewer who's been watching Chantel for some time, I expected nothing less. Is it frustrating to watch neglect on that level? Of course, but I expected nothing less. People wanted to see the cat, so I'm coming down to show the cat. Yep, I know. They're in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, there they are. It's messy. Sam. You're not supposed to show the mess. Sam. I'm not showing much of the mess. I'm on the toilet. <laughs> okay, no more cats. I'll show them later. <laughs> Guys. Wine? Yes, she is uh, pooping. No, I'm peeing. Oh, peeing. Jeez. Oh, Hi, Sam. Come oh. here. Stuff on the floor? Uh, I mean, it's just like bits of garbage that's on the floor. Like it's you know, papers. Nothing. Yeah. We have to clean and peace always shows our messy house. Okay, we're going No, there's no cat poop on the floor. It's uh, it's just like some. There's just a little bit of uh, just piece of garbage that uh, fell on the floor. It's one of the reasons I'm big on not applauding mediocre behavior because I believe it plays into that, the person that she is the person that Pete's is, because I also see a lot of people applauding the most mediocre behavior and actions because it comes from that household of disgusting people. The only right answer is getting BBJ to a vet. That's Chantel's choice. And as frustrating and sad as this is, I'm just seeing a lot of emotions fly around when I think it's time people need to remember 
This is not new. We know who we're watching and it is okay to tap out and simply say, you know what? I won't be watching this for a while because I cannot sit here and see how this plays out. And that's okay. You could feel a lot of different emotions watching Chantel, but as viewers, we are responsible for our own emotions and how we take in the content that we are choosing to watch. There's a lot that's very frustrating about Chantel, but over the last couple of days, there's been a lot of emotions that I'm not seeing followed up with people choosing to step back. And yes, this is coming from someone who's shown a lot of different emotions while watching Chantel's content. I'll put a pin in that for now because this is a topic I've actually wanted to tackle on its own. I want to circle back to Pete's and the things that Pete's chooses to share with the internet and how Pete's chooses to respond to those things. In the comment section of his live stream from January 4th, there was a comment left that reads, Pete's, this is important. We heard Chantel's voicemail about essaying you without your consent. We saw her drunk, forcing herself on you. I know she's your friend, but that's abuse. And you're accepting because she pays your rent. A lot of trans women suffer this kind of abuse quietly. Please don't. Go to police, seek help, you deserve better. Pete's responds, it was technically S.A., sure. But at no point has she ever made me feel in danger. So it was easy trespass for me to forgive. So Pete co-signed an accusation of SA when it comes to Chantel. And this comes off of the heels of something that Natter shared on one of his live streams. I don't want to see you anymore because- I don't want to see you anymore. Just, like I'm the one asking her to see you. Just, like, made me remember everything wrong about you. Yeah, don't remember. And you hit my phone again. You liar. lied to me about DD. You said that you knew her for 11 years, but yet you admitted that she admitted that she just was interested in your because Ugh. of my huh? video. So Ugh. you're lying, huh? piece of Ugh. So have a nice life with DD. And so, Thank you. yeah, I loved you and you f over me every time. You lie. I haven't f a single person since you. And you eat out your best friend like it's nothing. So <laughs> Go to hell, you deserve it. And I hope you run. And also, I'm gonna suck pizza today just because, you know what? You can eat out your friend, I'm gonna. <laughs> you drive me crazy. You make me look crazy in front of everybody. You make me look like a piece of shit in front of everybody. Bad liar, too. You're such a bad I don't liar. lie at all. You around naked in front of your friend, <laughs> but you never sleep together. You're full of. <laughs> okay, enough for today, guys, because uh, that's uh... And based on the rapid attitude change that Chantel had on those now deleted community posts, I'm guessing she didn't know that Pete was the one who co signed and agreed to those claims. Pete decided to fire back with his own community post, but towards viewers. Honestly, kind of pissed that this even needs to be said that people are trying to draw me into bullshit, but apparently it does need to be said. Chantel didn't sexually assault me. So if you're trying to go after her for that, shut the f up and leave her alone. She feels like shit and that makes me feel like shit. So just leave her the f alone. Let her try to be happy, you f fools. This is the clip in question. I feel down, I feel down. Do you think I should marry Pete? Not or you could never. Pete does not hate me, kick at. Pete loves me. Pete's loved me more than he loves anyone in the planet. Do you want me to make up with Pete? <laughs> He's like a kisser. Natter, you know you miss me. <laughs> yeah, Chantal, what? Oh, I said I had a way with words. Don't be evil. I am evil. You drive me crazy. You make me look crazy in front of everybody. You make me look like a piece of shit in front of everybody.
remember watching some of that in real time and just thinking she's weird and has no boundaries. And although that can also be used to describe SA, I never looked at it that way. So when Pete's first mentioned it, I was taken back. But also, it's not my experience. I was not in that room. There's a lot of angles I didn't see. And honestly, I could barely hear what they were saying to each other because of the loud music. So that's not for me to define. That's for Pete's to define. And Pete's did define it as S.A. Under that community post, there were plenty of replies. One read, so you wanted to kiss her? Pete's response, Christ, no, I didn't. But I still didn't feel assaulted after it happened. And since I'm the supposed victim, I'd like my feelings on the matter to actually be considered and for people criticizing Chantel to shut the up. The criticism is stemming from Pete's words. There is no one in that household that can take criticism and also there's no one in that household that can accept that they will be held accountable for the words that come out of their mouth and the words that they write out. Pete will probably never accept that he's disposable to Chantel. He gets manipulated by Chantel and also gets used a lot by Chantel. The back and forth that Pete, Natter, and Chantel used to have made Chantel happy, even though it led to threats. When somebody called about I'm man enough to answer. I'm man enough to, to meet him. But he cannot say it in front of my face. So people, if they say he's real than me, <laughs> doesn't show anything. I'm ready for now, any minute, anytime, anywhere, to meet with anybody. I want Pete's to come and hell off matter. No, I'm not going to let anything happen to Pete's. Are you kidding? Nothing will happen to Pete's. All right. <laughs> With a little help from my friends, right, Pete? Yeah. So we're reacting to the act. Yeah. You're a controlling abusive douchebag. Yeah. You just... You suck. Yeah. You're awful. Yeah. He did, he and I know, I know. You're gonna attack me, you're gonna beat me up, you're gonna stab me, or whatever. <laughs> stab <laughs> All I'll say to that is, you try to come after me, I'm, I'm totally willing to call the cops on you if you uh, come after me, so. Pe nothing's gonna happen to Pete's. Yeah, like you said, if he tries, I will absolutely call the police on him. He's going to get his Gatineau criminal friends after us, I guess. Um, douchebag there comes, uh, tries to come after me. I'm fine with a little bit of retribution towards him. Let him punch you so he violates parole. Oh, God. I mean, I'd still rather not be punched. Yeah, <laughs> especially not by him. I am, I am still weak and cowardly. It's not, uh... I would take a punch for you. Let's I would not, not forget that part. No one's punching you. I would be in the middle, <laughs> and I would take all the punches. Oh, no, it's a super chat. Okay. She used you for what she needed to use you for. You can go now. Oh, shut it. <laughs> Actually, I might go back upstairs anyway. You don't want to look at his ugly face? Yeah, there is that. <laughs> And I see little Pete's. You, you don't know about me. Bah! Go call the police. <laughs> Go tomorrow. Yeah, day. we know you're threatened. See? Against him, you can myself, yourself for anything. Say something to him, his anger will come out. Watch. Nothing, because you don't take shower, you go kill yourself. I'm going to kill myself, you don't see this. Uh huh. Now that you give me the order to talk, would you? Would you? Sure would thing, you buddy. Give me the order to talk? Come watch you. Fish stick. Fish stick. Fish stick. That's his word for. Ba? Forgive me, ba. but ba. he said, ba. and he's trying to say he said fish stick. <laughs> You're still a controlling abuse, dude. <laughs> no matter what you say to me, it's not going to change the fact that you a controlling abuse of brick. You know what? Pete can have a vagina and still be more of a man than you. Pete will have a vagina and still be more of a man than you. You drive me crazy. You make me look crazy in front of everybody. You make me look like a piece of in front of everybody. That's just disgusting now. I just said it's so wrong that she's actually now turning on Pete and now on Missy Moo too. I mean Missy Moo, whatever. Remember when she was trying to tell you, oh, Nader asking me to don't live with my, with my best friend for 20 years. 
No, because no man will accept. Even your Sharmud, and our first thing is that you cannot live with him, you cannot go and search your room when you were there. Yeah, that's normal. That's, that's normal. No, I'm not allowed to have male friends. But Pete's is not really male. <laughs> it was just, like, I literally, like, my brain, like, I, 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 I mean, if I was if I was dating a guy and he was living with his ex girlfriend, of course. I, I wouldn't. Of I course, wouldn't like that too much either. And when I tell her that, she goes share it to everyone online. She say he hit bits off just because he lives with me. No, I don't hit nobody. I am not. Hit, I don't know have anything against bits. But when Nada would let Chantel back through his door, the kind of support that Pete showed Chantel was not reciprocated. There's a lot that came out, and there's still a lot I'm sure we don't know. But the thing I was against him was to use him to come to tell me in, her, in his live stream, you yeah, motherfucker, and the end, and And I know it's not out of his mouth, it's out of his, her mouth. She's doing the same thing with Salah. The same thing? She asked him to talk. You have to come and talk. And you he probably doesn't something. want to. And she's like, you have to come and talk. You have to come and say something. You have you to, to defend me. You need to know something, guys. I swear. Between me and her, thousand times. I'm sick to leave this piece. I agree with everything. Yeah, she told me. I swear to God, to leave the year, she when she comes to apologize to say it, Two, three times. I'm sick of him. I don't know what to do with him, but I cannot yeah. live alone. People will get against me if I leave him alone. And and and. and she and, rolled her eyes. So, and I said, "What about Pete? What do you?" What do you so Chantal, you don't care about Pete. He did say that. Stacy says, "Well, there you go. He said it on live." Yep. And I just looked at him like, "I can't believe you just said that." Like you really? That's when I realized like this guy really has no empathy for people. And no, you are the one who made fun of Pete. Why do I talk like this? And whenever you did that face, yeah, it made me laugh. And I'm a piece of shit for laughing at that, I guess. Chantel is not a good person, no matter the faith or religion she follows. And Pete is not much better. He may not say the hurtful words that she said in the past, but he does support and excuse and make a lot of apologies for her. And that could be just as damaging. I don't know what's going to happen with BBJ, but it's for Chantel to figure out. We all have choices. Again, it's a great thing she's not a mother. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video or listen in. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed any part of it, please consider giving me a like. If you're not getting notifications, please consider unsubscribing, resubscribing, and setting your notifications to all. You know the drill. Yes, we all have choices. Being queer is not one of them. Later, guys. I don't listen to anyone. I do whatever the hell I want. I have a hard time accepting reality for what it is, and I also have a hard time not getting my way. Falling on me, I got weapons, need no army. Stat like Tetris, you don't know me. Stat my fatty, you don't know me. Okay, hey now, it's a new kid on the playground. So many bags on me, you would have thought I was a spray ground. Now they know I don't play around. I can hear what you're saying now. I just doubled up my flight miles. Coast to coast, know they ain't a town. I get rich, watch, then I get a sick watch. Watch me hit the top, I might make a tick tock. Left hand, right hand. Catch the latest trend, I might double up my network. I've been going up now, I see the top going down. If you didn't know now, I know you know now. Best cause he could go on top, you not really top. You keep saying top, well, I guess they let the top down. I've been going up now, I see the top. Now I'm here now